I don't know. Maybe this movie might make a man out of you. Yeah. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Mulan, the Disney remake, which was delayed heavily. Originally supposed to come out in March, it has now been released in this format on Disney Plus with people paying $30 and I'll admit, as high of a price point it is, I can't deny that it ain't a bad move on Disney's part in terms of trying to recuperate the losses that they've had this year. You've got to understand that Disney has basically been the juggernaut for box office studios for the last several years in a row. So to see them dip so low, especially after last year, they wanted that money back. That Greek Goblin's hungrier than ever. But how does this movie interpret the original tale as well as the Disney animated classic that many love, myself included? First off, I'll say that they actually do a really good job in terms of trying to reinterpret Chinese cinema, at least current day Chinese cinema, within the first shot of them coming into Mulan's village and doing this big panorama, I felt like I was watching the Ip Man movies. Now, admittedly so, the first Ip Man is a very grounded film, it's very well done. I actually prefer the second one the best, but it's because it reminds me of like a modern day retelling of Fist of Legend. Jet Li's in this movie, by the way, too. He's not very good, though. So that style of cinema is what they do to reinterpret the story of Mulan. Admittedly, it is a little out there, especially if you haven't seen any Chinese cinema, especially Chinese Kung Fu cinema in the last 10 years or so. Is it kind of being a little bit on the nose sometimes? If you're not familiar with this type of cinema, you might be thrown a little bit off when you see a girl jump 20 feet in the air and do a pretty cool soccer bicycle kick onto a spear and have it hit a guy. Admittedly though, that's actually one of the best parts of this movie, I ain't gonna lie. Obviously with how the film landscape is right now, there are a few different aspects of films that are possibly, perhaps, most definitely pushed a little bit more in this film than they were in the Disney animated film. For instance, Mulan's backstory is given a little bit more detail. They're kind of going the route of the mystical warrior, the, the, the chosen one, to save the Chinese dynasty. I can see some people thinking that this is kind of a reinterpretation of Rey, how she was good at everything in Star Wars. There's a point to this. She's training. We see that she is being trained by a master warrior. We see that she has potential. It's more so her status and the culture at the time that is holding her back. And that's what the first film had as well, just done in a bit of a lighter, more child-friendly tone. Which, speaking of which, the child-friendly tone, like kind of the Disney nuances that you're used to with the original film, they're not in this as much. They are trying to go for a little bit more of a mature setting, which is why some of the fight scenes are a bit to watch, like when you see some Mongolian guys running up the side of a building, you're kind of just supposed to think, hmm, okay. We also go all the way over and we dip into the origins of Chi as a force-like entity, even though the force is basically based on the whole concept of Chi. And there is the alternate woman. This is the witch who is helping the Mongol leader take over China. And she's one of the best parts of this movie. She's damn cool. Every single outfit she has is fantastic. Just that's a side note. That's not... It's pretty damn good. I actually liked her inclusion in the story. I was a bit on the fence to see how she would be integrated in the film. And her fluidity with her powers and her strikes and just her character are very well done which is kind of again a little bit polarizing when we see some establishing shots look like they're straight out of a ps3 game there are some moments where the cg dips very very heavily but only for short periods of time these moments where they have lots of really great moments followed by one very bad dip every so often. It's not a consistent thing, but when it appears, you see it. It's also with the hair. Her hair in this movie is amazing. And then you see her dad's fake wig. <laughs> I enjoyed the fight scenes of this film. I enjoyed the training, even though there isn't the whole make a man out of you. I just enjoyed the choreography of this film. Admittedly, when you're seeing all the swords flying and there's no blood whatsoever, I, again, I know it's Disney, but I was expecting something more than nothing. However, again, there are dips. There is a scene that is taken from the animated film. It involves a mountain. It's done the same way but differently, and I feel that in this film it fails at changing 
how it works. It's just stupid. There are moments where they do alter themselves from the animated film and it doesn't work all the time. It works sometimes and those parts are done well. Sometimes not as great, but they still are doing a good, mature retelling of the story. Not so much the animated film, but the original tale, obviously taking tidbits here and there from the animated film, but it's not to the point of over excessive fan service. I wasn't expecting this film to be this good in its production value for the most part. I love how colorful the sets are, how colorful the costumes are. The changing of the music parts, while not as frequent as I was hoping, really there's only two or three songs that are kind of altered. Reflection's so damn good that they play it twice. But again, it's not frequent and I, I kind of missed that. I was hoping for a little bit more of it because it was such a good score when it was good. I enjoyed Mulan. I think people will enjoy it too if, again, you have some experience with Chinese cinema. If you've never watched one before, you are going to be a little bit out to lunch, but I think it's a good way to introduce you to it. I would recommend it because there really are some good Chinese action cinema films out there. In the end, I'm going to give Mulan a 4 out of 7. It doesn't come anywhere close to the animated feature. That's something that's undeniable. It doesn't get anywhere close to it. But it still does a decent reinterpretation of the original tale as well as the animated film. And it doesn't pander. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.